Kind of everybody did. I just, uh, just real quickly, um, before Flo uh, steps up, just wanted to uh, touch on uh, the fact of how excited and, and really happy I am that we were able to come uh, to a, a really positive solution for both Daniil and, and the Minnesota Vikings um, with uh, with what uh, Rob and Quasi and, and Daniil's representatives were able to do. Um, process was uh, was a good one, where you know my daily dialogue with with Daniil and. Um, as we continue to can, you know, learn about each other and, and him to know, um, you know, I'm always going to try to do what I say and, and, and make sure he knows our, uh, our intent, especially with a player of Daniil's caliber. Uh, we are a better football team with Daniil Hunter, and uh, I'm really, really excited about that. But just want to say, uh, you know, tip my hat to, to Quace and Rob and, uh, like I said, Daniil's representation for, for getting something, uh, getting a really positive uh, solution done. And uh, Daniil will be, you know, a full participant from training camp from here on out. And uh, with that, we will have a plan for him um, that starts out. Uh, he was out here uh, for the walkthrough. He'll, he'll take part of the early part of practice. And then we will build up his, uh, his reps as we go with a mindset, knowing we've got some real, uh, real important dates coming up, whether it be uh, joint practices um, or, or any of our other work we'll do throughout training camp uh, with a mindset to build towards that. And, uh, I'll keep you guys updated and uh, make sure we lean on Tyler and uh, Uriah and, and Josh and, and, and Derek Keys as far as uh, how that plan plays out. But uh, once again, just very, very excited. Um, great to see him back out there in the defensive huddle. And I know his teammates were excited as well. So with that, I will turn it over uh, to our defensive coordinator.